Copenhagen, one of the cycling capitals of the world, a place where there are as many bikes as there are inhabitants. In the 90s, this was the first capital city to install a cycle hire system, so it's little surprise that they've just upgraded to one at the cutting edge. When it comes to hiring a bike, it needs to offer something extra. Now, not only are these electric, but they also come complete with their own built-in, apparently vandal-proof tablet. And when it comes to reserving, booking and paying for one, you can do it all on this. You can select manual or whatever level of pedal power assistance you desire. You could go for longer distances, it's not sweating. Even if you have your own bike, a manual bike, and you want to go five kilometers, the fastest and easiest way to go is on an e-bike, and you get there without sweating. I'm not that confident on a bike. I was actually quite relieved that even when the electric element kicks in, it still feels comfortable and stable and safe. And the thing is, it's very easy to stop. The tablet offers GPS travel guides enhanced for cycling, making the bikes a liberating way for tourists to explore the city or for commuters to get to unfamiliar locations. There's an option to check train times, and you can even book a bike for someone else, pre-setting a meeting destination to make sure they head to the right place. At the same time, the GPS tracks who is going where, when, and that data is sent home every 10 seconds, meaning information on battery life, location and usage is constantly being collected. It is, of course, early days now, but the open platform means the potential for software development is huge. One idea they're trying out at the moment is location-based marketing, but there's also scope for improving the cycling experience for the whole city. We will get a lot of data from, from the bikes. We're already getting that. What is the average length of a trip? What is the speed people are cycling with, etc.? Because then we can adjust the traffic signals to the speed of the bikes in the morning. If you have a headwind, then maybe they change in another rhythm than if you have the wind in the back. Is looking down at a tablet when on a bike safe, though? Well, apparently there's been no problem yet. If you've finished your journey and there's no room in the docking station, then you can actually just leave the bike in a designated safe zone. You put the stand on, lock it and you can leave. But right now, I'm in luck. 250 of the bikes have been up and running for a couple of months now, but the hope is it'll soon become thousands. Then maybe other cities will follow Copenhagen's example once again. <laughs>